Hi there, uh, I'm back. So in the, in the last video we did, we implement uh, an add node and all the ports and all the stuff needed. Well, the minimum necessary to pass a test. And this one we will implement uh, the connection between ports so we can do like a little graph. Uh, so yeah, just let's do it. So we, we need, we will need a new test for that. So let's do uh, def. Well, we went to test uh, at no connections. So yeah, so we basically need a graph again. So digipy dot graph, and we need to uh, we'll get one node, so let's say node one will be equals to graph dot add node and we want to add digipy dot an add node there that's cool, oh, just a type and then we want to pass node uh, node one dot get input port so add node has two inputs uh, so value one will be equals to I don't know five uh, uh, value two will be equals to I don't know ten and that's the first node so let's take the output of the output of this and connect it to a new one Oops, let me set this. So, yeah, so let's create a new node. Uh, so, node uh, 2, let's say called to graph dot add nodes. Here we will basically pass a uh, digipy dot add node, right? Same stuff. And in this case, uh, node two dot get input port. We get the port call value one. Uh, oh, just figured that. Uh, yeah. So this that value equals to that. Okay. Value one dot value will be equals to I don't know five again. Um, value two will be equals to well, we we'll want to connect. Yeah, let's connect this. So let's make the connection here. So let's say we want to connect this to node one dot get output port, and the output port or result of add node is called result. So we basically pass a port and now we need to node to dot evaluate um, yeah um, and we need to test uh, that node to dot get output port of a name result that value it's equals to fifteen um, five twenty. So just to make it easy and and you know uh, implement one thing at a time. Let's be explicit. And let's evaluate the node one. So we we'll evaluate node one. It will make the computation. Uh, and we will create a new node, we will connect node 1 to node 2, evaluate it, and check the result of node 2. So that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Let's save this, run it, and uh, we have, we failed that test, and it's a port has no attribute connect. So, we can come here. 
and we implement that so connect uh, looks like uh, we pass uh, an output port um, well what's happening there it's basically yeah it's basically assigning so stuff that value will be equal to the value connected right so output port dot value that makes sense so let's save that let's try the test and it's done that's a connection another cool thing well yeah that's pretty much it so yeah let's keep it short and simple and sweet so let's just uh, save this so uh, yeah get uh, check in everything and this will be uh, port connection implementation so we basically can connect input ports to output ports and that's it for now so the next step would be well this is basically a graph but the end goal is to implement more of a dependency graph and the, the dependency graph has to do with the dependencies how it's evaluate the graph right that's that's the whole idea so we're being super explicit at, at the moment we're calling evaluate but we probably need to do that automatically like the graph it's in charge of that so we will do that next uh, yeah so we have some extra time I'm mean, thinking if I should include this here or not but let's do it so a, a very useful thing is we probably need to know how many how many times evaluate is running right that kind of stuff so one way to do it very simple it's just like in the base class do something like print uh, we can do here like evaluating oh sorry evaluating uh, the port whatever it is uh, so format uh, itself and we just print the information so let me run that and you can see like we're evaluating one uh, one two times right this connection evaluating one two times on that test and that's useful but the problem with print is when you ship this code when you finish or you you want to publish this code it's kind of dodgy you have a printer like every time you use the 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 library you have a print so a better way to do this is through login so we need a logger basically so what we are going to do is import login and we will get a logger so logger will be equal to login dot get logger and you usually usually pass the name of the file so in this case it will be digipy right and that's it so instead of a print we will use oops we will use our logger so i can change this to logger and the logger is like a print uh, a print for this name a new print just for this file and it has levels so i can use like a debug so this message will be visible only in the back mode so that's just what we need so if i run now the test there's no login at all uh, so the problem is well not the problem what's missing is the configuration of the logger so let's import the log well import login and here just before running the the test runner 
we will configure the logger. So logger will be equals to login dot get logger, and the name we know it's digi digipy. Uh, we need to add a handler. A handler is basically what indicate to the logger what to do with the messages. So the login met, uh, the login module include a stream handle. So it will stream the messages. And finally we need to set a level like the ver the, yeah, the the severity and we want to see the debug messages. So basically get the same logger that's defined in the other file uh, add a handler and we want to see all the debug messages and now we will run this we have an error why oh this has to be an instance sorry so as you can see there it's saying that digipy at node well, it's evaluating in DigiPy, uh, and you can like see what's going on, right? Include like login messages, uh, debugging messages. So that's kind of useful. Uh, it's way better than using a print. Uh, so let's save this. So git status. Uh, so let's add that to our repository. So check in out. Um, let's say. Uh, implement a logger done so we have a logger in our project and that's it for this video uh, so in the next one we will start taking a look at the dependencies how to evaluate the nodes automatically uh, so yeah uh, see you in the next one bye bye